The Polish army has recently enhanced its military capabilities with the receipt of five new KTO Rosomac armored vehicles. This development was reported on December 14, 2023. The KTO Rosomac vehicles are the result of an ongoing and close collaboration between Finnish manufacturer Patria and the Polish company Rosomac SA, which has been producing these vehicles under license since 2005. In December 2022, the Polish company PGZ, Polska Grupa Zbrodziniowa, announced the delivery of 29 new KTO Rosomac vehicles in a medical evacuation variant. Valued at $100.8 million, approximately 450 million PLN, these vehicles add to an already substantial fleet. The Polish Ministry of National Defense had previously signed a contract in 2002 for the purchase of 690 Patria AMV vehicles, with a total of 997 ordered by 2013. The KTO Rosomac vehicles are built on an 8x8 chassis powered by a Scania DI-12 diesel engine, capable of 480 or 543 horsepower. They can reach a top speed of 100 km per hour and have a maximum range of 800 km. These vehicles are also fully amphibious, able to travel in water at up to 10 km per hour using two hydrojets at the rear of the hull. The troop compartment can accommodate up to 10 soldiers. Moreover, the Rosomac XP, an upgraded and more capable version, was presented at MSPO 2019, offering increased interior space and payload capacity. The KTO Rosomac is available in multiple variants, each tailored for specific missions. For instance, the M1 variant is modified for the war in Afghanistan and comes equipped with additional steel composite armor, wire cutters, video cameras, and a pillar system for detecting the direction of incoming fire. Other versions include the Rosomac S with Spike LR missile launchers, the Rosomac M3 for troop transport, and versions for medical evacuation, command, and technical reconnaissance. Simultaneously, Poland is developing the NKTO, a new armored troop transport vehicle intended to complement and eventually replace the KTO Rosomac. This new heavy infantry combat vehicle, VCI, is designed to work alongside tanks, providing high levels of protection and firepower. It will be equipped with a 30mm cannon, a 7.62mm UKM, 2000C machine gun, and spike anti-tank missiles, all integrated into a remote-operated ZSSW-30 turret. The Polish army plans to acquire 700 units of this new VCI, which will be heavier than the already ordered 1400 units of the Borsak vehicle. Regarding the five-wheel troop transport vehicles received by the Polish army on December 14, 2023, each is equipped with remotely operated ZSSW-30 turret systems and launchers. These turrets are fitted with Polish optoelectronic warheads. This new equipment is specifically designed to engage armored targets and enemy structures, including fortifications, and will play a crucial role in providing fire support to smaller units during combat operations. Poland continues to receive modern equipment for its armed forces, although these deliveries were planned by the outgoing government, and it remains uncertain whether the new Polish government will continue the procurement policies established by its predecessor.